Seth and team had $162 altogether at first. Then Seth spent $30 and team spent one-sixth of his money. In the end, they had the same amount of money left. How much did Seth have at first? This is the key phrase that we have that says that they have the same amount of money left. Usually, we will combine before and after model and try to look at the difference between the two model to find relationship, to find one unit. But this time round, I'm going to teach you how to use one model to do it. So I'm going to start with after, which is they had the same amount of money left. So here's my model for seven team equal parts to denote the equal amount of money left. Now let's go into Tim. Tim said that he spent one sixth of his money. Well, since he spent one sixth of his money, what is the fraction that's left? It would be five six. And five six means five units out of six units that he initially had. So I will cut it into five parts. And since we are working backwards, I am going to add back that one unit that he had spent. Okay, I'm done with Tim. Now let's go to Seth. Seth say that he spent $30. The size of the $30 doesn't matter as long as you label it. Okay, so, and we got one last information left. That is the sum. The first sentence indicated that they had $162 altogether. Okay, now let's take a look at the model. Do you observe that this part of the model it is the same. So at the bottom, there are five units, which means at the top, I can also cut it into five units. Okay, now done. So using unitary method, if I want to find one unit, what do I have to do? I have to take away the extra that doesn't belong to this size, particular size, which is in this case, the $30. So that's my first step. 162 minus 30. I get 132. Now think about it. This 132 is equals to how many units? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not forgetting the last one, 11. So 11 units is equals to 132. And I would always find one unit. So 132 divided by 11, I get 12. Let me check my calculation. 132 divided by, yep, 12. Okay, so the question was, how much money did Seth have at first? So looking at the model, he had five green units plus that $30. So my final step, 12 times five. And I'm getting the green color units of five units. Then I'm going to add back the $30 that he spent. So my answer will be 60 plus 90. Oh, sorry. 60 plus 30 equals to 90. Yep. Okay. And that's the answer. $90.